Freshwater salinization syndrome. For a while, researchers have long warned of salinization, the increasing concentration of dissolved salts in freshwater ecosystems. So you can see here that for a while and long convey the same idea. So this is a case of redundancy. So option A is out. Researchers have long warned of and cautioned against. So again, warned of and cautioned against is redundant. Researchers have for a while, a long time in fact, warned of. Again, redundant. Researchers have long warned of. So this is perfect without any redundancy. Less attention, however, has been paid to the role of alkalinization or rising pH in the salinization process. University of Maryland geology professor Sujay Kaushal led a 2018 study. In this study was the observation that alkalinization and salinization are crucially linked occurrences in North American fresh waterways. So we need to combine these sentences. There was an observation in a 2018 study by University of Maryland geology professor Sujay Kaushal, and it was that as observed in a 2018 study led by University of Maryland geology professor Sujay Kaushal. Sujay Kaushal is a geology professor at the University of Maryland in a 2018 study that he led. It was observed that leading a 2018 study was University of Maryland geology professor Kaushal and in the study was an observation. Okay, so here the most concise way to put them together and convey the meaning is B because I'm talking about the problem of alkalinization here. And then I'm saying, as observed in a study led by University of Maryland professor, alkalinization and salinization are crucially linked occurrences in fresh waterways, right? Now, if you look at A, um, I'm using too many words, right? I can say the same thing with fewer words. So A is not correct. Um, here, I'm making Sujay Kaushal the main subject, while the uh, idea is to convey what the study said, right? And also too many words. And here, again, I'm making Kaushal the main subject. And this is also grammatically incorrect, because I'm putting a colon um, at the end of a segment, which is not complete. So D is also wrong. Given the environmental threat of what Kaushal terms freshwater salinization syndrome, it is imperative that scientists take a more holistic approach and account for alkalinization processes when studying waterway uh, salinization. Okay, so we have to set up the main argument. So let's come back to this later. Traditional salinization tests that solely focus on sodium chloride, a salt often used to uh, days roads are inadequate in studying the increasing salinity and pH of freshwater systems. So here I need to decide the correct verb. Traditional salinization tests, this is plural. So focus is perfect in this uh, context. So I like A. Verb focusing, this is past tense. So that doesn't make sense. Will focus is future. And this is past perfect. Sodium chloride does not make water more alkaline, but other salts such as those containing positive ions of calcium, potassium, and magnesium do. Such salts are released by numerous processes, including mining, agriculture, and counterintuitively acid rain. Regardless of how they enter waterways, these cocktails of salts can be more toxic than just one salt, as some ions can displace and release other ions from soils and rocks, compounding the problem. Kaushal explains. Um, okay, right. As Kaushal study shows, these effects are widespread in the US. Of the 232 stream and river monitoring sites examined in the study, 66% showed trends of increasing pH. So here, this comma is incorrect because I have an independent sentence here and another independent sentence here. So a comma can't go between them. A colon makes sense because I'm putting a colon at the end of the complete sentence. And then that colon will help me understand how these effects are widespread. So B is good. Uh, a semicolon is fine, but the comma after off is wrong. And we definitely need a punctuation here. 
the writer wants to add the following sentence to this paragraph while aspirin itself lowers ph it breaks down minerals containing uh, alkaline salts ultimately raising ph in waterways okay so i think we talked about aspirin here such salts are released by numerous processes including mining agriculture and counterintuitively aspirin right because you wouldn't expect aspirin to increase the alkalinity and so i'm explaining how that happens how that counterintuitive occurrence takes place so this should come after sentence 3 together alkalinization and salinization pose a double threat right because i'm talking about two subjects here so it's plural so not poses they pose a double threat to the health of freshwater ecosystems and the animals that rely on them among its many effects among their many effects right because again i'm talking about plural so it is the singular pronoun this is uh, it is so this is wrong there is the plural pronoun and this is they are so this is also wrong among their many effects higher salinity can cause greater levels of phosphates to be leached into rivers and streams fostering the growth of harmful algae and bacteria elevated ph meanwhile could have several causes such as changes in weathering uh, certain fertilizers or even the process of photosynthesis okay which choice most effectively supports the claim being made so i'm saying they pose a double threat um higher salinity can cause greater level of phosphates fostering the growth of harmful algae elevated ph ph meanwhile so i'm not talking about causes right i'm talking about harmful effects so it can't be a was slightly mitigated in some areas following the clean air act amendments can cause ammonium a nutrient already present in water to convert into toxic ammonia gas resulting in decreased biodiversity so this is a directly negative effect is the opposite of acidification and can stimulate the production of nitrate so these two are not talking about negative effects so c due to the linked ecological and biological costs of high salt concentrations and high ph in freshwater systems scientists must consider both when assessing a freshwater ecosystems overall health so this due to this part is dependent right so i need a comma after this uh so option d a full stop or a semicolon would not make sense because they come between independent sentences and here this and is incorrect this is not to say that existing salinization studies are invalid sodium chloride remains an important source of salinization and requires monitoring but so do ph increasing salts okay so here we are saying that uh, existing salinization studies are valid but you also look at need to look at ph increasing salts in fact caution points out that adding one type of salt to the environment can encourage the mobilization of other kinds of salt exacerbating the freshwater salinization syndrome okay which choice provides the most effective conclusion to the passage according to kaushal many cities have inefficient salt spreading equipment that could be updated to ultimately help with efforts to manage the freshwater salinization syndrome um no this is talking about what cities can do right so it's not really focusing on the the aspects of the syndrome that we are talking about so i don't like this what kaushal's freshwater salinization syndrome provides is a critical conceptual framework that can help scientists make more effective use of existing research and design better studies so this is talking about an important thing and ending the passage on a positive note but i don't know if i want to talk about better studies in the future so i'll come back to this ultimately kaushal notes salinization and alkalinization could not only affect freshwater but coastal regions okay you now this is introducing a new idea so i don't like this um he points out that adding one type of salt can actually encourage the mobilization of other kinds of salt this seems relevant to the previous sentence but it's not a good concluding statement right because 
the main thing about a concluding statement is that it should kind of wrap up what the whole passage was saying. So I would go with C over A because C sounds more of a positive thing on the entire freshwater uh, framework, right? So, yeah. Okay, let's go back and do this other one. Yeah, so given the environmental threat of what caution terms freshwater salinization syndrome, it is imperative that scientists take a more holistic approach. Yeah, so I like A because that's the whole point of alkanization. Keep in mind that the syndrome is most prevalent in densely populated areas. No, we are not talking about that in the passage. Recognize symptoms of the syndrome such as infrastructure corrosion and contaminant mobilization. Um, no, we're talking about a holistic approach to solving it, right? So not C. Consider the research methods. No, so A is the best answer. Okay, let's grade this. Right, think. 12 DBAA, DBAA. 16 BBCAC BBCAC okay so 19 is uh, double threat to the health of freshwater ecosystems and the animals so this its was the pronoun for double threat right not for uh, this alkanization and salinization among its many effects. Right. So, okay. So this was a somewhat tricky. Um, yeah, but double threat. Okay. So this is A, not C. And what about 20? Uh, C, D, C. C, D, C. 